Dairy farmer-owned cooperative LIC bought the ProTrack range of farm automation systems about eight years ago. Since then, it's been redeveloped and has expanded to suit rotary and herringbone sheds, as well as having field data entry options. Garth Anderson from LIC explains. ProTrack's an animal management system. It's used in the dairy predominantly. It allows farmers to interact with their animals, draft them, gather information out of a main database called Minder, uh, and interact with the cow's cow side. Generally, they work with the cows in the shed, and that's where the majority of ProTrack uh, activities actually occur. Basically a system identifies a cow through the EID system. That's attached to its EID tag. We have a reader and antennae which reads that EID tag. And that EID tag is unique. A cow management number, like cow number one, is associated to that individual unique number. The cow will then walk onto the platform. The number of the cow will be displayed. The farmer, through a touch screen, can then interact with the animal and its data. It can get uh, audio alerts, etc. And at times, the plant can be managed so it initiates or stops milking on that individual cow. A major benefit for a farmer is it basically makes his life easier in the cow shed. So it's very easy to manage your cows through drafting into separate mobs, etc., which happens automatically or indeed looking at the information. ProTrack will also allow you to take data automatically captured, such as inline milk meters, uh, and apply that information to a cow. There's 72 hectares effective. We carve 230, milk about 225, 24 a side shed, and one and a half man unit. It makes life a lot easier actually to drafting cows. Um, it was sort of a it took two of us to draft cows and finding cows and drafting cows. Um, now it's just simply program it in and don't have to worry about it during milking. If we've got a, a, a big group of cows calving during the day, we'll bring them in the yard and we'll draft them through the drafting gate as a dry cow Or the second lot is the colostrum cows. When we have cows that have you know, been milked for four or five days and then they go into the herd, um, instead of picking those cows, we just program it in the morning or I program it at night at home. It's here in the morning and when they come through they go into the second herd, which is the milking herd. We spot most of the cows as coming to the cow shed or coming to the pad we see on the pad. Cows are sore feet, cows that aren't looking so healthy. We can, I can program it through my phone and it's already by the end of milking she's sitting in the yard waiting for me. So we want to create a schedule for a cow. It'll tell us, um, it'll give us the chance of what day we want to do it on. So we, it says we'll pick today. We want to go left hand side. The phone only holds the app, the, the drafting app. The phone only works on the iPhone app at the moment. You could be using a iPod touch and it's just using an area network, a Wi-Fi network on the farm. So you don't need cell phone coverage at all. It's not necessary. It's just we use an, an iOS or the Apple operating system to run the app. The technology has been around for about uh, 10 years. In the last five or six years, it's really started to become mainstream in the marketplace. We've now got over a thousand installs around the country and there are competitors as well. We have a support team around the country as well as contractors who will help with physical support. We also can dial into their system through broadband and if there is a problem, fix it. Part of the reason for our redesigns is we're trying to make a more robust farm, uh, system so our farmers have a better experience with the product. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.